All right, guys. It is almost about that time for Thanksgiving. And so I am going to prepare a diabetic-friendly pineapple upside-down cake. So let me tell you about some of the ingredients. So you are going to grab yourself a Pillsbury sugar-free cake mix. You need this, okay? Preferably two, depending on the size of cake that you're going to make. I'm going to make a fairly large one, but I'm going to only use one cake mix this time, okay? You're going to bake it like the instruction says. Divide it in half and make two layers, okay? So let me show you the first layer. This is what the first layer looks like. There you go. The very first layer. Okay. The second layer is in the oven. Let's check on it. Uh, not quite done yet. Okay. So, in the meantime, you're going to make the cheesecake part. So, you're going to need cream cheese. Any cream cheese will do. You need three boxes. That's three eight ounce boxes of cream cheese. Yep, they're eight ounces. Three. Three of those. And you're going to need a blender to blend it. Let me show you. Alright, so in the blender, this is going to get a little noisy. Doing this with one hand, sorry. Hold on just a second. There we go. Alright, so in a blender, you're going to blend. Then you're going to add one, you need three eggs, you're going to add one egg at a time. No shells. One egg at a time. Okay, Oop. there we go. There is a nice and creamy. It's still got to get a lot of the lumps out, but it's creamy now. And now you need one cup of sugar. I use the Tavivia, 75% less, fewer calories, and it's a little bit diabetic friendly. So I put that in there. So use one cup. Okay, hold on. So we got one cup of sugar. We're gonna turn this back on again. It's gonna get noisy. Let that spin around. I'm going to add the sugar to it. One fourth cup of sour cream. So we're going to add the sour cream to the mixture. There you go. Add the sour cream to the mixture and let that blend. Okay, next you need to add in vanilla extract. 
I don't have vanilla extract, so I'm going to use the imitation vanilla. And I'm going to put it in my creamy mixture for the cheesecake. Okay? I need two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. One teaspoon. It also calls for a half a teaspoon of salt, but I don't add salt because Will's high has high blood pressure, so do the salt, throw it all over your over your shoulder. No salt. Okay, so I bake all my cakes in spring form pan um, so that they all come out the same size. So what I do with my cakes is I put it in the spring form pan and line it the bottom with parchment paper so that I can easily take the cake out and create nice smooth layers so let me let me show you okay so there's the cake that I just took out the last layer take a little knife so I baked a little bit longer than I would have liked to but take a knife and go around it score the sides so it comes off nice and good all right so cut cut the sides around Unhook it. Boop. Came out just perfect. See, perfect cake. Okay. Take that off. Set it aside. Take that off. Set it aside. And then the cake lifts up from the bottom. Real easy. One, two, three. Boop. Take the top cake that I had before and use it as the bottom layer for the cheesecake. Um, only because it's cooled and. I don't like to wait for the second one. I like to keep going. And since my pie and cheesecake part no. is done, I'm ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one back in the springform pan because uh, it's still on the wax uh, parchment paper. And then I'm going to pour my cheesecake on top. Yes. Thank you. So the next thing you want to do is take tin foil and line the outside of your springform pan. Because you're going to put your spring form pan into a water bath and you don't want your cake to get soggy and wet. Okay? So line the bottom with tin foil. You want to take and then you want to take and spray the inside of your cake pan with some spray so that your cheesecake won't stick. Okay? There we go. Okay, so the cheesecake is in the pan. We're going to put it in the oven in a water bath. In the oven, there's water in the pan. Okay, it's going to bake in the oven for about an hour and 10 minutes. So we're going to set the timer for an hour and 10 minutes, and we're going to check back on it. It should be jiggly in the middle and nice and brown on the top. show you what it looks like when it's done. See you in an hour. All right, cheesecake's out and it is jiggly in the middle. And it is ready for the next step. In a pan, I line mine with parchment paper just because it's easier to clean up and easier to get. You put a half cup of brown sugar. I use Trivia's brown sugar of course and a uh, four tablespoons of butter you place this back in the oven and let it melt <laughs> after the mixture melts you're going to add pineapple slices and Montecito cherries you could add regular um, fresh pineapple and fresh cherries but I go you're gonna add your pineapple now we're gonna add the cherries then you're gonna add a little bit more brown sugar on top okay. Ooh, put that cherry back okay and then put that then you add your 
top layer of your cake. I put mine backwards. Make sure you press down so it absorbs all the juice and gets all the ooey gooey all up in there. Alrighty. We are all done. Flip that top layer over onto my cheesecake. Nice and pretty. Can't wait to eat it for Thanksgiving. If you would like the recipe, I will link it down below. Hope you enjoy as much as we will. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us on YouTube for more recipes. Please like and subscribe and follow us on YouTube. Live the good life. And live in the dream.